subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Monday, we are deadlifted in the Stolten Strength Centre. Another week closer to the gyms being open for everyone, so we're looking forward to everyone coming back to the Stolten Strength Centre and to every other gym. So, today we have, well I'm warming up with the Minifit Bar, up to 220 kilos, so we chatted about, I'm now working with Dan's, uh, with Tom's coach, Dan. Dan's He's, coach, Tom. <laughs> yeah, good England. So, yeah, I'm working with Dan now, so he's wanting to see my technique. We're gonna try and tweak that a little bit in the deadlift. See if I can finally, after about 20 million years, get my deadlift where it should be. Big Tommy, he's a beast at deadlifting. What's your plan? Uh, straight on to the 22, 23 inch rap pulls. Uh, I don't, I'm not checking the number yet, but I think it's 320 for five, so, or three, so we'll soon find out for. So we just check. I just guessed this, by the way, guys. I have a tape measure now, so I'd say it's about 20, 21 and a half. Oh no, tw oh, look at that. Oh my god, it's actually to the centre of the bar is 22 inches. What a guess. Sometimes I amaze myself. Honestly, I really do. So Tom's doing the 22 inch. Five sets of three. Five sets of three at 320. Buongiorno everybody, all my French fans, buongiorno. Uh, so, this, as Luke said, 22 inches. Uh, we are doing five sets of three at 320 kilograms. It's nice and easy. You don't really see much deadlifts this high. For me, it's actually, for once, nearly over my knees, which is a first ever. Usually I'm deadlifting like down here, so it's going to be cool. But nah, this is called, what's a 22 inch deadlift here? Yeah. Blood, Simon. The reason why I'm doing my conventional pulls and Tom's doing the 22 inch warm up pulls is because my deadlift is significantly lower than Tom's is. And it's just a technique issue with me, I think, because I don't get my legs in enough. Spread my hand placement a little bit wider, my legs are a little bit wider than this, so we're trying that. Just going to take a couple of videos and just send them to Dan so he can analyse them and um, hopefully he can come up with a plan to, to increase the deadlift. Because it's for me, if, if my deadlift was up 20 kilos or so, I know, if, I, I know I'd be winning these shows. No disrespect to anyone else, because it's my fault, my deadlift's down, so if I can get that deadlift up, I can finish top three in pretty much any other event, I feel, on a good day. So, going to be really emphasising training, accessories, to get a stronger deadlift. So, hopefully, you guys all see some improvements, or maybe I'll just crumble in a heap and cry, because my deadlift's still really bad. <laughs> Right guys, so that's my warm up. It was only up to 220. Wider grip, wider stance. And just, you can see from my shins, they're a bit cut, so. The great Thomas Stoltman said, if you're bleeding when you're doing deadlifts, you're doing it right. So, it felt okay, felt comfortable, obviously it's only 220, so. Let's see what happens when we increase the weight. So that's that done for me. I'm gonna go and join Tom on the 22 inch axle deadlift pulls. Let's go! Ha <laughs> ha! 
I was just warming the last time up. How is this compared to the normal deadlift? When we're doing the 22 inch pools, there is a significant difference obviously to conventional deadlifts off the floor. Um, the main being obviously it's so high. So we're not getting that explosiveness off the floor. You really got to kind of engage all your muscle groups. When it gets heavier, it feels like it's not going to come off the off the 22 inches, off that height, but you've really got to engage and really got to kind of wait for your muscle groups or your muscles to kind of kick in and then it goes. So it takes maybe, I don't know, a second or so just to get everything going and then pull. It's an awkward height as well. Some people are, if you're shorter and you can get it above your knees, it's more of a hip drive than it's more, you can get your hips underneath the bar and use just like a leg press almost. Um, but Tom and I, well certainly Tom being a bit taller, um, it's more of a, a longer pull for him, so it's all varied on your, your kind of body heights. And being on the axle, there's no flex either, so you're actually pulling it from that height, as opposed to if it flexes, it might come up a couple inches, and you're not, not pulling it from the said 22 inches. How are they feeling, big dummy? Yes, they're feeling okay. Very hard, um, like Luke said. For taller people, I think, a wee bit of a disadvantage, because yeah, I'm pulling from knee height, which is a horrible, horrible uh, uh, start of a pull. And again, I have to really squeeze and engage everything and keep pulling until the bar goes. Whereas if it's above your knees, you can kind of just slide it like a leg press. But yeah, it feels good to show. At least I'm only pulling it from half my knee, so it's about here. So once I get that one inch pull, I can slide out my legs, which is a good, instead of like 18 inches where I'm <laughs> down to my nearly ankles, basically, and I have to do a whole deadlift. But it feels good. It should feel good. It's only 270s. Right, so I did first set with no belt, but it's too dodgy, I feel it like in my lower back, so I'm putting this on to protect myself. This is for safety. Did putting on a belt help you, mate? Yes. Much more tighter, feel safe. Don't come to your job without your tools. This is my tool. Feeling good, feeling explosive, which is good. So we're three sets out, we've got two sets left. The volume's not massive, but it's still enough to feel it, if that makes sense, which is nice. Um, rather than just coming in and doing a heavy triple, we're trying to do five sets. Um, and again, conditioning, conditioning, conditioning. As if we can go unconditioned like Tom was last year, he was a beast, then we're gonna do the business. hardest thing about this is for me I'm taller so I really have to engage my traps and really use my hamstrings I can't just leg press it up I really got have to 
lower back. So when I'm doing it, I have to lean back with it, whereas a normal deadlift, you don't have to lean back as much. You have to contract your shoulder blades, keep your lats tight when you're locked onto the bar. No, this, your, left, your arms have to be solid. And again, like Luke said, just keep pulling, keep pulling. It won't come, and eventually it'll come. Really drive your legs and your hip through, and boom, lock out. But it's not so important. This is more hamstrings and hips you're using more, and lower back rather than kind of the normal deadlift where you're using kind of like other parts of your body. But yeah, that'll do. So guys, that's the 22 inch deadlift done. Uh, as you can see, we're pretty buggered. It went all right for myself. A very hard, hard uh, starting position to pull from, especially being six foot eight. But it's going to get better as the time goes. How was it for you, senior? Hey, stoked, man. It was good. It was quite nice, actually, especially with my new SPD belt. Thank you, guys. Um, I had to borrow Tom's one out in Bahrain because it was a little bit bigger. So now we've got a 3XL, fits like a glove. Uh, it was good, it was hard, but feeling good. Got the five sets done. Um, so that's our main compound lifts done. We're now going to go on to Romanians. Um, so we've got 150 in the bar, so we're doing three sets of eight. Um, really work the hamstrings, glutes, and get that pump on them. So we will get into that. And if we can still walk after, we'll chat to you then. With Romanians are stiff leg deadlift. It's not your conventional deadlift stance, but it's a lot of hamstring development, a lot of glute development. Almost tense or engage your hamstrings, and then when you're up at the top and again, again engage your glutes. We use hamstrings pretty much every lift we do, so anything we pick up, sandbag stones, log press, deadlift squats, um, truck pull, tire flip, anything really involves hamstrings, so we need to make sure our hamstrings are very comp fit, if that makes sense. So by doing these higher sets, it really engages your hamstrings and it gets them ready. So that's the kind of thinking behind this. Also, it helps with our deadlift. It's got a big crossover to our deadlift. So hopefully the heavier we go on these, the heavier our deadlift will go and so on and so forth. I hope, if not, what can you do? Yeah, <laughs> you <laughs> 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 pooped my pants. It's okay, just finding the right position. Um, you get machines for this but they're about £1,500 for some hip thrust so I'm not paying that much, we're not paying that much for it so 
it's fine, it's just um, because we're quite sweaty, we're slurping a lot, so that's why we've changed positions, as you can see, Big Tommy's pumping them out. Oh. So guys, that's the hip thrust done. Get that hip movement in here, yeah, buddy. Now we're on to leg press, four sets of five. Has to be heavy, but we're up to four. 325s and a 50. Each week we'll build up, so four sets of five. Let's do this, you ready? Right guys, so this is just hot off the press. The new Bubble and Goose Protein Brownies. Tom, have you? Strawberry, is it strawberry? Strawberry? Strawberry. Mm. Major, strawberry. my protein's finest whey protein. Mm. Oh, that's strawberry flavor. Uh. Moist, succulent, tantalizing. Probably the nicest brownie I've ever had. That is not a lie. Mm. How's it done? Just read that. That's it. That's all you need to know. This is going to get me number one. The strongest man doing what others won't. Do you want a bit? I want to share my food. Babylon Goose Hospitality. Check them out. Ten Lero's done. Uh, three sets of ten. Oh, I'd get now. We're doing four hell. Four yeah. sets of twenty-five. Incline, face down, shrugs. These are. Same. I don't even talk about these. I was getting done. So our traps are on fire at the moment. All good though. Could we pump to finish off the, the back? Yes. Dripping. Yeah. Like a burst fridge. So next we're doing some rope hangs. Talk us through what we're doing Tom. Hanging from the rope. Last week I did 6 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. So 10 plus would be good for all 3 sets this week. So we're just literally dangling off it. That's it. Let's go. Can I get more than 10 seconds? Three, two, one, go. Five seconds. Easy, Tom. Ten seconds. Oh, I should have been Darn it. I just gave up. Right, each five seconds, remember? Yeah, that was easier. Last week I got five. Just each five seconds, remember, yeah? One, go. Came in like a wrecking ball. Five. Ten. 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 Yeah. Fifteen. Alright, yeah. every five seconds. No, no, I thought we were just doing ten. That's why I'm Good. 
Jesus, what is this? Turn him like a wrecking ball. Push him aside. Five. Turn. Fifteen. Twenty. Yeah, you're on cruise. What are you saying, Miley Silas? Great work. As you can see, I did 15 seconds of some max. Last week, I did five or six seconds. I've been working with Neil Rooney, who's a alternative health practitioner. Yeah, so he's been getting me this left hand, this, we used to go like this, and he's hit all my nerves from my brain into this to help me channel, and I get the signals back in my hand and it's working. So I'm coming to world's best grip in the world. Deadlift back day and some grip all finished. So pretty pumped, everything's feeling good. But a decent session finished off in the rope climb, or the rope hang, sorry. So that really kind of works your grip. It's just that natural kind of holding on grip. So um, yeah, it was good. It was a good session. You happy with that? Yeah, very. Look at this. Absolutely soaking. Sweaty. Ringing. But because the Stoughton Strength Centre and the Spicy Stoughton T-shirt are so high quality, you actually don't even feel the sweat. So please go to our uh, website, stoughtonbrothers.com, and buy plenty of merchandise. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And please keep ringing that little bell. Ding ding ding! Ding 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 ding!